So check this description. Gutsy, daring play calls. Penalties galore. <laughs> and NFL all-time <laughs> yeah. high. Overtime drama. All add up to three words, and we all know them well. Just uh, win, baby. baby. So the Raiders are back and winning in every way imaginable. But you know how fans go. They want to know, can they take that all the way to the Super Bowl? Well, you know, you can overcome all those things you talked about with mm -hmm. talent. Uh, and, and that's the one thing they have. And, you know, Al Davis... He would be so proud of this team, not about the penalties and all that, but the way they play. You know, you know, Sims, I listen to you on Sundays. You got, and, it, and you can imagine what he says. You, you got all the answers up there, don't you? The, the but, question I would have but, if Al Davis was still here, would he screw it up in some way, shape, no, or form? No, he wouldn't, because you know? this would be in his image how he likes so. to see it. Because Downfield throwing, a quarterback mm -hmm. that drops back seven steps, which very few teams, probably three other teams in the whole league do it, and they throw to receivers who are out there being creative, running routes. So let me just give you a little thing or show you something about what the fans are missing when they watch the, the Oakland Raiders play. Michael Crabtree and Amari Cooper watch these routes and the shake that they put on defenders. I mean, I mean, it's different than you see from any one inside, out, in, wide open. And you see this constantly when you watch them play. And why can they do all these extra moves? Because it's the way the offense has been designed. Bill Musgrave is the offensive coordinator. They have a mammoth offensive line. Yep. They can give him plenty of time, Derek Carr, a lot of space so he can wait for these guys to go down. Yeah, I know Boomer's awesome. got some thoughts, but let me ask you about Derek Carr as he mentioned him. How do so many teams miss on – and I know drafting is an inexact science, but how? You never know. I think a lot of it also had to do with who his brother was, some of the problems that he had with his brother. He might have been lumped in, in, in with some of that. But, you know, being drafted by the right team, and I think both of us can attest to this, mm -hmm. is going to do a lot for your longevity and also your early success in your career. Now, many people would have said, oh, this is the wrong team for Derek Carr to go to. But with Jack Del Rio there now, Mike Tice is their offensive uh, uh, line coach. You have Rob Moore, my former teammate, is their wide receiver coach. Is he teaching them all those moves? He might be. I don't That's know. But, unbelievable. But when you watch this thing now, especially when it comes to Derek Carr, you know, watch how he throws the football on some of these tapes. He is stepping in the ball. He's got the ball high, uh, held high. He's got all the fundamentals going the right way. If if we want to take a couple shots at Aaron Rodgers for being a little lackadaisical with the fundamentals, I think Derek Carr is the other way. He is stepping in the throws. He is confident. And the other thing, too, is what what you're watching here is you're watching Jack Del Rio, former player himself, right, taking some of these calls, giving uh, the trust that is needed to his quarterback to make the plays. And the good news for the Raiders and their fans is that this young quarterback has answered all the questions that have been thrown to him, especially late in game. Now, they've had an easier schedule. Okay, I was going to bring that up. But you know what, Boom? I'm a big proponent. Play and beat who's in That's front of you. That's all you can do. You know, know. Look, you know, some years you get the schedule, some you know. Listen, and, and he's right. Find the system that fits you. Michael Crabtree, you know, he, he, oh, he's a bust. You know, he was a first-round pick out of Texas Tech and all that. He found the systems for him. Now he's a star. Him and Amari Cooper, I mean, you can't double team now, both one. of them. So here, that's here, what's really great. Here's one other thing that we have to realize. Now, Alden Smith, right? Who's he? Where's he been? He's been on suspension. He's uh, filed for reinstatement. Looks like he's going to be reinstated. This defense has not been great. It's been good. No, it's, it's not been, been it's, great. It's been borderline bad. But, but, it's, but it's getting better, it seems like, A little each bit. and every week. If Alden Smith can come back and do what he did the last time he came back and what that does for Khalil Mack on the other side, now all of a sudden, you know, it's not the Marcus Ware and Von Miller, but it could be pretty close to that. And if you have that now on defense, plus with what you have on offense, yeah, the sky is the limit. The potential is there. The question is, is the inexperience going to get in the way? I'm glad you covered the defensive side of the ball real quickly. Playoff bound team? In your mind? Mm. I say, looking at their schedule, I say at least the 10 and 6, 11 and 5 season. I, I would say they're going to make the playoffs, but you know, I, I think the one thing that worries me, you know, when you're counting on big plays and exciting plays, which they've had, and taking chances like Jack Del Rio has in three games that turned out to be wins, you know, the defense is really going to have to get much better. Four God, straight home games now, JB. God bless uh, Al Davis, but if he were watching this segment, what would he say to you now about how it went? Well, uh, you, I, I don't think I can repeat all those words. <laughs> you say. You're right. That's exactly right. Uh, that's about it.